In this video, we will cover a new feature on Seed Live, the device transfer feature. To access this feature, you will first need to log in to your Seed Live account. From there, you'll navigate to the Administration tab, find Transfer on the drop down menu, and click the link. If you have any questions about transfer requirements, use the link in the upper right corner and you will be directed to an article that will answer your questions. Once you're ready to proceed with the transfer, go to the search box on the transfers page. Here you can fill in a single device number, multiple device numbers, noting one per line, or you can search the entire catalog by leaving the field blank and clicking the search button. Your devices will populate in the fields below, and we'll want to take note of the messages at the top of the list. First, that 2G and 3G devices are not eligible for transfer. They can be easily identified by the corresponding columns below having the checkbox populated or by the missing checkbox next to the device serial numbers. Second, if you were intending to transfer a 2G or 3G device, you will want to inform the buyer that they will need to contact the sales team about purchasing an updated telemeter. Third, you will want to take note of those serial numbers yourself so that you can deactivate those devices using the deactivation feature in Seed Live in order to stop them from billing your account. Note that once you deactivate the device, sales will no longer be able to process, so make sure to coordinate with the buyer before taking action. Also, you will see that we have identified the contract type in the fields to the right, rental, lease, and owned. Leased and rented devices will require the original sales order to be paid in full before the devices would be eligible for transfer. If a rented or owned device is selected, the transfers team will contact you with instructions on how to continue the transfer. Once you're ready, identify the devices you would like to have transferred by populating the checkboxes next to the serial numbers. Then, once you've selected all of your devices, scroll to the bottom of the page where you will need to click the Add Selected button. This will populate the transfer request with those devices in the serial number fields. Double check your list that you did not miss any devices, nor that you have identified any devices you did not intend to transfer. Finally, we'll fill out the buyer information. Fill in the contact name, and if you know that they have a Seed Live account, you can fill that into that field. If they do not, you may want to check with the buyer that they have reached out to new accounts at cantaloupe.com to begin the process of setting up an account. Then fill in the buyer address, the email address, and the phone number. Double check this information for accuracy before proceeding, and when you're confident all of the information is correct, click the Request Transfer button. Please note by clicking this button, you are granting Cantaloupe the permission to release these devices from your account. The next page that will populate is a confirmation page. We do recommend printing this page for your records. From there, the transfers team will begin the process and reach out with any follow-up information required to complete the transfer. 